Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to talk about my Nautilus Plus Christmas Manoa team to tackle Mush Athena Non-Descended. So, Athena Non-Descended just came out today, and it's a, quite a challenging dungeon, but overall, I feel like it's less obnoxious compared to Valkyrie Seal's dungeon. That's just personal preference, but I've cleared it with Nautilus and Daytona up until this point, so I feel like there's obviously a modest spread of possible leaders I could try with other teams later on. But let's talk about this Nautilus team right here. So I chose to pair of Christmas Manoa because I strongly believe that Christmas Manoa pairing is a superior pairing at this point in time because I don't need the extra amount of effective health that double Nautilus offers. I like having a card that can damage cap with ease because Nautilus is kind of the weakest part of a Nautilus team in theory. And the haste just makes the Nautilus transformation process a little bit easier and a little smoother. So I'm kind of borrowing similar ideas of what I did for my Daytona team by running two delays because two delays can solve so many different problems and it lets you do some cheesy stalling on floor one and whatnot. So I chose Zila hats as my inherits for my leaders because it's just best for me. I get Rose, I get Team HP, I also get to have the Combo Orb. And I play with the Combo Orb quite a bit. I like to match 10 Wood Orbs in a row, plus a 4 sticking up vertically, or downward. And it gives me bonus combos, so everyone hits the 10, which means I get to proc all my big damage. It makes life flow much easier. So, for my subs, I have Christmas Osiris. And Christmas Osiris, I honestly feel like, is the best dark or wood card possible one of the best wood cards in the game because it's got great personal damage triple seven with vdp and the fact that i can stack rose with a high attack stat he does cap he has the l he also has four skill boosts he's a superior celica and his active skill gives you rcv buff and a self time debuff the time debuff is to overwrite other time debuffs and the rcv is just a straight up buff so i can overwrite two problems every three turns and unlock the board and make a column of wood. I have to have no wood orbs on the board whatsoever in order to get orb troll by Osiris potentially because I can make five and as long as there's one left in the 25 other orbs I'm perfectly okay. So that definitely makes my life much easier. For their inherits I have Halloween Inahime. It's a delay with a skill boost. You could pick really any delay of a skill boost when I think about it. Yeah, you really could. I don't think it really matters. I think as long as you have ways to transform, and as long as it's a, like at least three turn delay, you're going to be okay. Alina has Poison Surge with an RCV plus latent, so she can heal more. I don't have. I only have 22 skill boosts, so I don't have to worry about overcharging. Green Nay is just a great inherit. If Alina overcharges, I have an active that gives me some happiness. And technically, in conjunction with Christmas Anoa, it's a two-third wood, one-third heartboard, if I remember to do it in the correct order. Clears all binds, Awoken Binds Unmatchable, great choice all around. For Real, I chose her because she has huge personal damage with a 10 combo, 7 combo, and the two enhanced wood combos makes a big difference because now everyone does more damage. She also comes with Poison Resist. So I don't have to worry about team building for that as much. I omitted Jammer Resist. Maybe I should have possibly gone for some. Maybe I should have taken the Horn as one of my delays instead of Inahime. I think Inahime was just kind of the weakest delay. I just had, I was like, I want a skill boost delay. It's the first thing that came to my mind. So I didn't need the L because Osiris has an L. If you don't have an L, Halloween Inahime's weapon becomes much better. But Real is also a two turn cooldown with a small HP heal, which is probably not necessary. It might help situationally and makes four wood orbs. Helps with orb generation, helps with flow overall. And she has the VDP Super Awakening, and she can cap with relative ease. Her sub attribute oftentimes does a billion plus damage, so you're getting quite a bit of output from her. And the Poison Resist I like to have, because I like just resisting things. And then finally, I chose Susano because it gives me a bit more bulk. He has some killers which are not really that relevant, but he also has four skill boosts and super blind resist. Like I said, I like getting super resist to solve problems because I can focus on other weapon assist to solve other issues. And Susano is not a bad choice because he can damage cap for sure, he gets a VDP super awakening, and I like his active skill because it's 60% damage reduction for three turns and a turn of haste. That haste is valuable because you can get real back up in an emergency. 60% damage reduction is nearly your leader skills 75%, so you might be able to tank hits even if you don't have enough green orbs. He's a good get out of jail free card, so to speak, and I like this just for safety reasons. And then he has Jammer Surge because just in case I get Jammer Skyfalls from Hestia, it doesn't actually occur. Poison Surge on Alina's for floor one in case I get Wood Absorbed, which does happen. Point of the matter is having the Surges is nice. Maybe Susto could double cap, but I just don't think it's necessary. He doesn't hit that hard all the time. And then for their Inherit, I chose Reach's Hat because 
It gives me a skill boost, which I like. Movement time. Cool, more movement time. Why not? Find immunity is irrelevant. Two enhanced dark orbs does technically improve my healing because Nautilus makes dark to hearts and my damage output because Manoa makes dark to wood. So it's a win-win situation with this orb enhance. But the active skill gives me a full board unlock and all attribute generation, and it gives five turns of damage and color absorb. If I get Hestia, which I did, but something happened, so I had to dump Susano, but if you get Hestia, five turns of color absorb means you should you will have an easy time smacking your way through her. A lot of her mechanics are gone. You can still grind your way through it. The nice thing about this team is when you match six wood orbs in a blob, you don't do that much damage. When you match a row, cataclysmic damage. So it's not the end of the world, but it's just nice to be able to counter it. But at the same time, this active skill is a bit of a get out of jail free card as well. If your board is locked and you're sad, you use it, you unlock the board, you get all attributes, minimum three of each. That means with Nautilus is active or Manoa's, you're guaranteed to have minimum six wood orbs. And you're probably going to have four plus hard orbs as well. So you can heal up. I had to use it in an emergency for earlier floors, but point of the matter is, I think it was a nice solution for my color absorption needs, and five turns gives me so much time to t basically smack Hestia. And with that being said, that's basically the team I put together. I feel like I would probably want to swap out Halloween Inahime for Horn. I can lose a skill boost to get more delay. It's the same effective skill boost, but I would get the jam resist so I don't have to worry about it as much. It wasn't a super problem, but I feel like I would definitely want to make that swap now. So let's just do that now before I forget. So if I play this again, I am ready. So with that being said, let us now enjoy the actual gameplay footage. Alrighty. Let's go not wood absorb. It's not wood absorb. Hooray. So we're gonna transform Alina and delay and start this process. So, multiple turns to stall this out. All I need to make sure is I have enough wood orbs on the board to do what I want. Transform Nautilus, and then I have enough damage reduction to save myself. Let's just see what a little bit of tickling does. Well, that's completely insignificant. So I have enough hard orbs to heal up again, so I'm just going to take that route. You know what? I might as well combo orb. If I delay them now, I have an easy time again. Manoa can haste up my people. Gonna rely on my auto healing here. I could probably do some damage to it actually if I think about it. It's gonna take several turns to probably hit anyways, so I might as well start the process. I couldn't one-shot it, so let's just see. So yeah, we're getting pretty close. I'd like to kill it and use Nautilus's transform on the next floor because it's guaranteeing myself I'll have a good board regardless of what orbs get taken away. Oh, whoops, those green didn't match, it's fine. Transform Nautilus on this floor here. The reason for that is it's possible I get terribly orb trolled and Nautilus transform solves that Oh 
And you're very dead. Well, very close to being dead, I should say. So I could delay this floor, which is always a viable option. Because if I delay this floor, life becomes a bit easier. I want to make sure I have delays up though for later floors as well. Hmm. I should really unlock the board. If I don't unlock the board, light orbs could be problematic, potentially. So let's unlock while also comboing hard. Keep my combo orb bonus. Light's unmatchable, Nautilus doesn't care. And hello, Query, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Whatever. One turn for my delay and then I'm fine. Oh, fish you rule, come back. I will do my delay buying clear after this. Delay, we're good to go. I made a mistake with that VDP, but it doesn't matter. I have plenty of time, anyways. It doesn't even matter too much. I have plenty, as long as I kill it before it hits me again, I'm good. So, no more VDP problem. Okay, we're not listening and just throwing it down. comes the smash to finish. Well, oh, definitely dead. Okay, Osiris is up for it in two turns, so I could delay prom- Oh, they're all red. That's so awkward. Hmm. I have zero RCV. This is actually awkward. Because if I get Hephaestus next turn, I die without a delay. And they're all red. This is pretty trolly. And I don't even have enough orbs either. 
That's pretty trolly. Okay, so Hephaestus is next turn potentially. I might get Hestia, and technically Dark Reach would solve Hestia if I get Hestia, but it looks like I might die before I get to Hestia because of this problem right here. This is like a completely unusable board. Because I don't want to use Osiris as active, because if I do, I won't get my delay, and if I can't delay the next floor, I do die. I think I have to use Reach's Hat, then Nautilus, and just try and kill this in two turns before I die. So this is actually just an unfortunate outcome. If I can two-shot this, I'm okay. Looks like I'll be able to two-shot it. And then I have my delay next turn, so I'll be fine. Not healing just hurts. I may want to rearrange my inherits after this run. No hearts fell down, but that's okay. Alright, I got my delay. Maybe I need to swap Gojo and the order I do delaying. I can't delay this floor. That's inconsiderate. So, 75% reduction with a VDP shield of 1.5 means it's a fake VDP. And I can't even delay this part here. I'm going to check to see what's coming up. Can I even delay the next floors? I can delay next floor. Hestia cannot be delayed. Ill6 is just a smash and smash. I think holding on to my delay is better than dumping it. I've already waited this long, I might as well finish it out. Guy of the Dragon doesn't actually hit me this turn. I don't know if Jammer resists. Awkward. Gaia Dragon hits for 704k, so I do survive, and that's all that matters to me, is not dying. Yep, I did survive. I guess I'll match more wood there. Would you look at that? Alright. It's going to do a turn of charging up, so if I kill it, cool. If I don't, not a big deal. Just trying to clear it. Manoa will sweep it on the next turn. Okay. 
final smack time. Maybe I could have saved some of those wood orbs. Maybe I could have. Wow. It's okay. We're good. We're good. I can delay this floor here. Odysseus. Thirty-five billion health. When it goes, it's got a VDP shield. I really don't like VDP shields. Uh, query, it's the trigger combo orb, so I always hit 10 combo every turn. I think Il-6 is fine for the next possible delay. So I think this is just a good spot to delay, because I don't think I need it anywhere else. So I can delay here, and I can start hitting it down. I use real to give me more orbs. Yeah, this might take a while. Shoot. Okay, that's better. This will go much faster now. Okay, two turns to go. Enough for row VDP. Excellent. Alrighty. Well done. It's Hestia. That was the one I didn't want to appear, but. I was in a pickle that was just unfortunate no matter what I did. So, this is going to be a bit of a slog. I just need to be aware of the color absorptions and whatnot. I want to get it into the green, then I can kill it much easier. Wood absorb, problematic. Very problematic. So I don't want to match a row here, I just want to blob. Reason for that is I don't want to lose my progress. And I'm hiding that one combo orb. But I'll make another combo orb from Manoa, which is kind of cool. I have real just in case. I have Susano shield just in case. Ah, not green absorb. Jammers hurt me so much inside. Still hit it. 
I also have real in hand. If I get no hard orbs somehow after this, I'm fine. Cool. I messed up the red there at the bottom. Oops. Good, you're green. Much easier to kill now. So, I'm okay with this Skyfall debuff. My RCV is halved. Not anymore with Osiris. How much health does Hestia have? I don't know. If I use Susano Shield, I could get Reel up, and that would, in theory, give me a much easier board to kill with. Let me think of how much health it could have. So let's say it's at 40% health. That's maybe like 14 billion. In terms of damage output, Manoa will dump, will cap, so it's one. Susno should cap, hopefully, two. Real is three, four. Alina's five. Vishnu, maybe six, seven. Seven caps is enough. Plus, Nautilus is whatever he does. So, it looks like I do have a way to possibly kill it if it's at 40% health. I think it's at 40% health. I don't know. I don't know. Real also has a sub attribute. Let me count five, six, seven, eight, nine orbs. Thank goodness, counting is doable. Alright, I still have my Susano big shield in hand if things get dicey. Executing Divine Punishment. So no Skyfalls means I'll just make combo orbs instead. Now I always have combos. Can't do enough damage. I never could get executed. I'm quite confident I can't, especially with this looking board here. I'll definitely kill this turn here. Shakedown is for the buffing and orb generation. I have blind resist. We're good. We're good. This gives me the most happiness possible. On to the next floor. Alrighty, I have no idea what this does. Oh, hello! It's a board of green! I can play with this! Alright, let's buff myself. No skyfalls, unfortunately, but that's okay. Well, that did more than I thought it would. Oh, that's not good. I should have saved Manoa for this part. Whoops. That was a 
mistake. I forget Nay's board actually has synergy with Manoa. Oh, why are you red? No. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, can't deal with the board, so I gotta use Osiris. I gotta get rid of these. There's no more locked orbs, never mind. Still have Susano in case desperation occurs. I'd like to use real here. Can't unlock the board of an L. Two locked. Oh my goodness, where are the orbs? Am I playing a no Skyfall dungeon? With no Wood Orb dungeon? So, we're gonna use Susano to haste up to real. Still goes for that stupid orb. Okay. Dead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have enough for a row and an L, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. What's her below 50% ability? Things are unmatchable that I need to be matchable. So Alina will deal with that. Again, I'll keep Osiris for that problem. Manoa should be able to deal with this. I could kill it in two turns, potentially, I think. I think I could kill it in two turns. I think. I wish I knew how much health it had left. How much health is this approximately? Gotta pull out a ruler and measuring stick. So it's just above Alina's dot there. Maybe 30%? Thirty percent. Wait, I don't have to actually. There's no HP base to execute. I'm guessing she's at thirty percent HP. Twenty-eight 
27. Yeah, I can't. Okay, there's no HPX. Okay, then I'll just go, 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 go. I have Osiris and Rule. I have all the tricks I need to survive. So let us do that together. Well, I definitely did the most I could do. Oh, that's a lot of locked orbs. Oh, you're very tanky now. Well, Osiris it up. I think it's just a race it looks like then, doesn't it? 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can make a row and a VDP. Why didn't you die? One turn for Alina. Okay. We're going to just survive. I have Alina up momentarily, so... Oh, why are you red? Of all the colors you had to change to, you choose the one color that's obnoxious. Okay. I'm so glad there's no HP execute because that would have been so silly. Drop two! Ha 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 ha! Holy fish! I wish I. Like, I'm so glad there's no HP execute. It was just a cycle of silly move sets. But that worked pretty well! So, yeah, I guess the Color Absorber and Hestia would have been nice to have, but I guess not needed. So, yeah. That was pretty great overall, ladies and gentlemen. That was. not bad at all. I got a gem! I, got, I can get guaranteed gems on Fantastics. I have Athena as a sub, but I don't run Athena as a sub on this account. So, pretty nice times all around. So, hopefully this video provides you with some insight as to what you can do to tackle this dungeon. I think having two delays is a pretty smart strategy for here, but I would probably readjust and retweak how I put my delays on to, like, have Osiris ready for more important matters. With that being said, hopefully you all have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures, and... Happy puzzling. But surprise, that is not all. Pancake is here and now she is gone, but we will watch another clear of Nautilus versus Dark Athena. And I retweaked my team ever so slightly as I was planning to by putting the horn on instead. And it made it a bit smoother because more jammer resist and using the delay on Osiris instead of my real first was helpful because then Osiris comes up in time and I can deal with more problems. Either way, let's enjoy the next gameplay footage of me tackling Athena on with Dark Athena spawning.
try that again. But I don't just have to know what dark and rain. Okay, it absorbs a color I'm okay with. Saving wood orbs. So my, what I'd like to do is match six wood orbs and then get enough hearts to fall down with enough other wood orbs to fall down that I'm able to activate again and save one of my delays just for a bit longer. So try and keep my orbs hidden. I do insignificant damage at this point. So I have enough orbs to heal and just not die, which is great. I have 100% poison resist thanks to Rule. So I get this. I can, in theory, stall another turn here, but I'd rather just delay here and get going. Manoa will transform. I can start the process of tickling it down. I like to save Nautilus's full transform for later. So I'm gonna just do a bit of damage here. Osiris is in five after this, that'll be four. There's a chance they bind real, but it's okay. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just going to match stuff to not trigger too much damage. And then Manoa to finish. I'm just trying to do less stalling on floor three, which is the idea. She gets angry and angry is not a problem. Here we go. An L, lovely. Smashing away. All right, we transform Nautilus. I like saving Nautilus's transform for this floor because it is problematic potentially. Because you don't know what colors are going to be after, and probably no hearts either. Okay, it's angrier, but I can deal with angry. Get 
Because of those light orbs. And thank you so much to Puff Puff for becoming a fantastic follower. How are you doing today? That's a lot of damage. Look at real sub attribute. 1.9 billion. Pretty spicy. Alrighty, I need to make sure I get rid of these locked orbs as soon as possible, because it's pretty annoying. So I have Osiris's delay for soon. And I'll use it soon. So no more locked door problems. I'm gonna kill it after the void goes away, because it's so hard to combo over a void shield like this. It's pretty hard. Well, I'm going to be able to do some damage, I guess, because it looks like this is just unusable board. Well, I trigger Combo Warp, so this is actually going to trigger Super Resolve, most likely. Never mind, not enough combos, what am I talking about? So Light Unmatchable is technically not a problem for me, because I do take it away, and I'm just going to delay in one more turn. I still have enough health to still survive. So I'm going to delay now. Real gets bound, but real is okay. I gotta wait these two turns anyways. Like, it's pretty hard to hit enough combos. Although I do have VDP orb, I mean combo orbs. And with the horn, I technically get Skyfall buffs, which is cool. Did more damage than I thought it would. Excellent. And there's no more combo shields, so I'm gonna be able to kill this in time. No worries. So once I push below super resolve and the VDP void damage void's gone, it's pretty easy to kill now. I wanna make sure Osiris is ready for next floor, which it is. Real needs to be up soon. She's almost up. We're looking good. Everything's timing appropriately. So... Do I even need this delay anymore? Not really. I can just kill now. I'm full health. There's nothing that should be stopping me. I made lots of combo orbs, actually. So this is lots of fun. I guess I kill it this turn. Rules bound doesn't do enough damage. That makes sense. Beautiful. On to the next floor. Reels delays up. I have Vishnu in hand to deal with this floor. It's all red. If it's just much harder when it's all red. So I can overwrite all these problematic debuffs here. I unlock the board, I overwrite the RCV debuff. It's every solution I need. And one convenient active skill. Outstanding. I am so glad I rolled one. One of the best rolls of the year. Can't kill red, unfortunately. But luckily I can at least heal after this. And I delay the next floor if it's bad, because it might be bad. Hephaestus is bad. I don't have enough for a combo orb, so I'm just going to not. Mm. 
<laughs> so, I need to delay this guy, but I can at least hit him a few times without a delay, because, like, when you delay, you have always the chance to heal to full health, etc. So, I am trying to... Use some of this, because he's pretty tanky. Pretty tanky. Like, he gets harder and harder, his smacks. So I'm just going to keep smacking my own. Damage is like nothing. Ooh, that's a lot of unusable orbs. I'll delay it momentarily. Okay, I'm delaying it next turn coming up. Right before it starts to hit me for bigger damage, etc. Yeah, problematic floor, so we'll delay. Big shield. I don't convert red to anything, so just get rid of that. Okay, no more big damage reduction shield, so I need to kill him now. Okay, much more doable now. Still a bit of a stretch, but it's at least doable. Ah, messed up those reds. Okay, should be able to kill now. Outstanding. On to the next floor. Looking good. Don't have a delay up, unfortunately, but I should be able to smash through this, I feel. The VDP is pretty annoying, though. Oh, well, why did I make a row of fire orbs? It's a mystery to me as well. Spinner is fine. Oh, fish! I blobbed it. I was fishing for the extra combo there. Oh well. That does not come. Did it again! I'm holding a green. I saw it spin into the wrong color again. It's okay. We're slowly getting this there. Oh, 
Well, I definitely got it to Super Resolve. No doubt about that. Okay, Dark is unmatchable. I technically don't care about Dark unmatchable, because all my orb generators take away Dark. now. Ooh, that's a lot of hard orbs. Look at me go. Tyler, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, most likely. Okay, Hestia is a problem, for sure. But I still think I want to just grind it out a little bit um, before I pop my damage color absorb counter. Because she's just so tanky. Don't know why I'm matching like this. I guess my combo warp. I'm going to try and just whittle it down. I want to get a turn without, um, what's it called? I want to get a turn without Color Absorb, then I'll smack it and then use my Color Absorb counter as soon as it's needed again. Oof, to my combo ribs. See, not the color I care about. So then I can start possibly chunking down. But at the same time, I don't have many orbs. Yeah, I made progress there. So, I can use Susano plus the other if I need the Color Absorb, but I don't, so I'm going to keep saving it. Don't have Hard Orbs this turn, so just need to be mindful of that. I survived this hit. Still don't need color absorb to counter this, so I'm actually okay. Nautilus, have enough. If I can push it into the other color, life is much easier. Okay, I'm just color absorbing whenever it's needed now. My RCV is lowered, but it's okay. 10% execute. Oh, this is where I don't like it. It's like, how much health do you have? How much health do you have? Let's try and guess. Because this influences what I do with my actives. Mizo, I'm just pushing this. Uh, I'm just looking at the image you sent me again. Alright, I'm way over there. 45% health. I don't think there's any chance. Execute is 10% of 37. 3.7 billion. So I'm at 45%. Like 45% maybe a bit higher. I'm at 37 times... 0.45. It's at 16 billion health. If I minus 3.7... If I do 12 billion damage, I do too much, and I get executed. 
So I just got to not match a row. Okay. I realize I have another delay up again. So don't match a row me. Let's just do the happy stuff. Oh, I realize Osiris's inherit came up. That's not good. All right, now I kill this turn. It looks like I need to use the colors. I have all my delays up. Interesting. So you know what? The Sue Snow active is still going to be used because I have a bad board. It's a backup in case this happens, I guess, as well. Guaranteed minimum six now. But at the same time, not many orbs. How much health is this at? Let's guesstimate 25% to be on the safe side. You have 9 billion health. I can definitely kill that. This should definitely kill it. Outstanding. Jeez. Love guessing games. Oh, I can't delay anything anymore, can I? I don't think I can delay anything. These are all useless delays. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright. Yeah, I can't delay anything. I can get myself Wood Sky Falls, which is cool. I can also avoid damage for one turn, which is also cool. I think I will avoid the damage next turn. I have no Skyfalls, but no problem there, I don't think. I don't want to save rules active for, um... I could just save myself 100% damage reduction. You know what? Maybe I'll just save it. I know I can't kill Dark Metatron. It's too tanky. There's no way I can push it into execute. I just don't do enough damage. This RCV debuff isn't that bad, clearly. 100% blind resist. Thanks, Susano. Alright, kill you here. Make lots of combo orbs, actually. I can overwrite the RCV debuffs. I have 100% damage reduction in hand. I've got a lot of tricks to survive. I hope this drops. So I get extremely large health now. Extremely large. And spinners. I love those things. Mm, delicious. So with 9 seconds of movement time, I need to go back 3, so that's blue-red hearts. So I start on hearts, I'm good to go. I'm going to start with this heart here to finish. I should wait. Fast spinner math this fast. So, Dark Athena Non has like a crazy amount of damage potentially. And I'll do 100% damage reduction on it. So, let's sync it all up. So, I am four different, so I need to go back four. So, I count blue, red, hearts, dark. If I start on dark, I'll be fine. So I want to sync this up to be that. So when that's dark, that will be hearts. No, wait a second. That starts on dark. I'll go through six spins. I want this to be um, hearts. 
on the column here. What's this column going to be? Let me think. Let me think about the column over there. Give me one second. I'm, just, I'm like a big brain fart. Go back from four from hearts. Dark, light, wood, water. So this needs to be water when that is dark. Okay. So that's dark, which will become hearts. And that's blue, which will eventually... Got it. So I need to start when that is dark. Alrighty, so now it's gonna give me 100% like as execute. Execute bad. So we're gonna gojo that away. I also have my green nay inherit to give me a full heal of desperate as well, which is pretty cool. Alright. I still wanna kill this. So I'm gonna make one of the things into wood and one of them into hearts. So I'm gonna start syncing things up on the other side. Then this other one. So when this is dark, that has to be um, counting backwards is blue. From hearts, dark, light, wood, water. So this needs to be blue when that other one is dark. I'm going to sync up with that green orb there. So when that's dark, I'm fine. Perfect. Super resolve. I have 100% shield to tank this colossal hit. Not dead. Good times. I've also triggered Super Resolve. What the fish do I do? Let's clear the non-green orbs. I'm going to save my Alina. I'm going to count my orbs. Is there an execute? Or does she just keep cycling back? I think she just keeps cycling back. So I'm fine, I think. I think. I should use Nautilus to make sure I have enough hard orbs here. are unmatchable. Now, this is where I need to think to myself, do I care about hearts being unmatchable this turn? I might. Let me count. Hearts unmatchable. I don't survive if I don't heal. 
so I've got to survive. I want to survive, of course. I have enough turns, I think, so I'm okay. I get three rows. It looks fancy. Everyone going cap, 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 damage cap. Yeah, I wouldn't have survived. That would have been bad. Two rows. Here we go. This should kill it. I'm confident it will. It dropped! Aha! I got all the gems. Aha! Wow. Wow. Oh, two super snow globes. Big money overall, ladies and gentlemen. Big money. Big money. Alrighty, I got all my gems. Well, I guess I Fantastic can play more later. But thank you, Haku and New Play. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel whenever I actually beat a hard dungeon. But hopefully you all enjoyed this double feature of Nautilus. I wish you all the best luck in your own pet adventures. And happy puzzling.